How's it going guys? Uh, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to discuss the topic of are the Disney Pixar films linked? Um, a lot of people have been doing this video lately and uh, I find it quite interesting so I want to show my point of view and uh, yeah, it should be quite interesting anyway. Uh, so before we start I just want to say that I'm going to be excluding the films Brave, Cars and A Good Dinosaur uh, mainly because those aren't really part of this lifetime type thing, do you know what I mean? As in like, for example, Cards is obviously about world about cards, Brave is about a fantasy world, and The Good Dinosaur is about dinosaurs. So we're going to be excluding that from this theories, and um, yeah. So we'll start with the film Ratatouille. Uh, there's a scene where the, I can't remember the characters, but yeah, there's a scene in that where you see a shadow appear where a dog will be chasing the rat. Is it Remy, I think the rat's called? I don't know. But yeah, and uh, that shadow is very similar to a film called Up. Um, majority of you have probably seen that. Uh, it's actually that shadow is the dog from Up, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, that's kind of suggesting dogs are the same shape and same size in that world. Um, so yeah, that's kind of linking the two films together. Um, and then we've got then a Bug's Life. Uh, in a scene then where they're in a rubbish, a place full of rubbish. Uh, there is a can, uh, looks to is it Pizza Planet? Yeah, from Pizza Planet. And uh, obviously, if you don't know this, Pizza Planet is from, a, well, it's basically in all the films, there's some sort of reference where there's a pizza truck. Uh, it makes an appearance pretty much in every Disney Pixar film. But anyway, that is kind of showing in this one that the Pizza Planet is actually a thing and the Toy Story universe is linked with a bug's life, so basically the bugs can speak in the Toy Story universe, obviously, but they can't speak to the toys. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting, I guess. Uh, and then moving on then to a scene in, is it, I think it's Toy Story 3, uh, where they're all gathered around talking to each other. If you actually zoom in onto the toy chest next to it, you will see a small little clownfish, which looks identical to Finding, well, Nemo, from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. So, yeah, that's kind of linking those two things together as well. Suggestion, maybe the fish talk as well. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and then into another film, then we got Inside Out. Inside Out, in one of the memories from a scene uh, where Joy is running, you can see there's a Pizza Planet truck, which I was just telling you about just now, uh, which is suggesting, again, it's in the same universe, same thing. Um, so, yeah, at some point, Joy is... Well, not Joy, but the girl that they're in the head. I can't remember, I'm sorry, there's a lot of Disney films to talk about in this video, I can't remember at the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so obviously at some point that girl has gone to Pizza Planet and seen all this stuff. So that's suggesting again that it's in the same universe as Toy Story and all the other ones I've just mentioned, which is pretty interesting again. Uh, and then in a scene then in Finding Nemo, we're in the waiting room of the dentist. If you zoom in on one of the boys, he's reading a incredible comic. Uh, for those of you who don't know, or can't remember, that comic there shows Mr. Incredible before he becomes one of the Incredibles and he's in his blue suit, which is at the start of the Incredibles film. Uh, so this is kind of suggesting then, same universe, but Mr. Incredible is a comic book hero. So obviously superheroes aren't really in that universe, and yeah, so the Incredibles is based on a comic book from the real universe, which would be the Disney version of today's life. Um, so yeah, and if you go into the Incredibles film, you also see in the background a picture of Doc from the Cars films. Um, obviously he hasn't got eyes, he's not alive. Um, so yeah, that's why I kind of excluded Cars from this video. Uh, but again, it's kind of suggesting that there's the same models and stuff, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and then we go to Monsters Inc. then, where Sully enters Boo's room just towards the end of the film. And uh, Boo hands Sully all her toys and wants to show them to him. And the toys that she hands is Finding Nemo. Well, Nemo from Finding Nemo, as you can see here. And if we take a really big zoom in then, you can see that she also hands him a Jessie doll. Now, this actually kind of makes the Disney Pixar series a lot more interesting. Um, because for those of you who haven't watched Toy Story, Jessie actually had an owner and uh, she abandoned her. Um, and stop playing with her and everything and yeah so in that thing we don't know of the girl this is suggesting maybe Boo was 
the owner of Jessie and she left her behind or forgot about her and uh, then Andy obviously takes Jessie then in and everything like that. And in the film Wally, which I haven't actually watched, I got this online, uh, in the background if you zoom in on one of the junkyards you can see Rex the dinosaur from Toy Story, suggesting maybe Wally is in the future. Um, so yeah, it makes the whole Disney thing pretty interesting. So in other words then the bugs can talk in Disney's world, the toys talking as well, the dogs looking exactly the same, the fish can talk, Pizza Planet is an actual thing in that world, kind of similar probably to McDonald's or our world. Well The Incredibles is a comic book hero, Cars obviously have the same models from the Cars films, and yeah, but I, what I don't understand with that though is the toys are based on the films, which kind of doesn't make much sense if you're looking at a dire that direction, but I don't know. It makes it a bit more interesting anyway, and it's kind of this is kind of a fun video to make anyway. I kind of enjoyed expressing my opinion and what I thought of it. Um, if you guys have any other opinions, uh, let me know in the comments section. I, I read all my comments, and uh, I'm getting quite a bit of support lately. So thanks for basically subscribing and giving me all the feedback and likes, guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more discussion videos, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, as I said, comment your opinion on this. Maybe you agree, and just just let me know in general if you agree or if you have your own theories. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, or if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Uh, there's a lot more fun videos on the way. Uh, I've got a haunted series thing of whales and yeah, rugby videos and gaming videos and discussions and all these different things going on. So uh, yeah, it's a good time to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.